Hi guys and welcome to the Operation Genova um, Operations. Operation Genova Operations, Jesus Christ. Operation Genova, that's what it's called. Welcome everyone. I'm using my Iveco truck today because I just love it, so I have to. And besides, we're doing this in Italy, so what else can I use? It has to be an Iveco. I hope you're all doing fantastic today. It's uh, the weather outside is just absolutely phenomenal. F phenomenal. I can't speak today. I need more water, probably. I didn't say Geneva. I said. I said Genoa, didn't I? I think so. <laughs> ah, it's really, really hot outside today. And my PC sitting here right next to me it doesn't make things any better. I can promise you that. Um, so, uh, let's start here. Let's talk about map. Because I have been watching the... Um, Live chat, and some of you are complaining about difficulties finding uh, halls to Genoa. I haven't. I have plenty of halls. Uh, but, depending on what side you want to go to, it seems like you should look in this area if you want to go to this side. And you should look in this area if you want to go to this side of the bridge. That works for me. Uh, not that I've done a ton of them, I've done... Um, how many have I done? Three! <laughs> this is going to be the fourth one, because I already selected one. Uh, so I haven't done that many. <laughs> we get a nice paint job for this? I actually didn't know. I just wanted to help out uh, rebuilding the bridge, or building the new bridge to Genoa. I'm pretty sure all of you know the uh, story behind the, whole, the entire thing. Uh, the bridge in Genoa collapsed, collapsed the, last year. Uh, was it two years ago even? Uh, can't really remember. But they are rebuilding it and it will, it's going to be reopened later this year. You've done all of them, Olaf. Hats off to you. Good job. Uh, I rarely have the time to do these. So I figured if I'm going to make it, I need to do nine more. And so by doing at least three of them tonight, I should hopefully be able to complete it all over the weekend. Uh, there's just so many other things going on in my life, so um, I don't really have time for it. Oh! 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 You like that sound? Oh, God. Is it going to open in July already? Fantastic. Uh, I'm going to use this camera for a little bit. How's the sound? Is the sound okay? Uh, I can't I can't hear my own voice right now. I think the truck is too loud. Let me know. Is the truck too loud? Uh, I'm waiting for your judgment on the uh, on the sound. Ducky is very happy today. <laughs> uh, the sound is good. Thank you, guys. Uh, let's get started. And um, let's get started by talking a little bit about what is going to happen next week. Uh, next week, I'm going on a vacation. Not a very long one. I'm taking two weeks off with my kids. But uh, don't worry. There will be videos during those two weeks as well. But there won't be any live streams. Uh, I'm not going to do live streams <laughs> while I'm on vacation. And, uh, well, since the year of 2020 is so special... Hang on. I don't have any traffic. Uh, let's add some traffic. There we go. Uh, 2020 is what it is. So we're not going anywhere. We're going to stay here at home. Which actually makes things even worse for me. Uh, because that requires me to spend way more time with my kids than I normally would do. To be honest. 
So uh, I won't do any live streams, but there will be videos released and I'll be releasing videos of quite a few maps I haven't done videos on before. And I think that some of them at least are maps you haven't seen before. So hopefully there's a few good surprises coming up. Well, if your standard SCS Scania trucks doesn't have any indicator sound, it has to be a mod conflict. And if you don't have any mods, you used to have a mod. It's got to be a um, profile issue then. Um. Whoa, you're going that way. Okay. Uh, my youngest one is 9 turning 10 this fall, uh, but um, she's a very spoiled kid. She usually gets her dad to do whatever she wants her dad to do. So um, it's the same with the oldest one even, but she's 17, so she doesn't really care that much about spending time with me anyway. <laughs> I shouldn't say fall. <laughs> the duck is like a cloud. Uh, what? No, I'm not using any physics mods. But I am using pro mods. Some of you might have seen that already. I am using pro mods. And so there is a plugin for Pro Mods that allows you to do Operation uh, Genoa uh, holes. Uh, so that is required. And I don't recommend you do this using one of my map combos. Uh, because although the um, add on for Pro Mods allows you to definitely be able to deliver whatever you're hauling. It might be very difficult to actually find anything to deliver if you're using additional map mods. Uh, so I'm using this on my uh, pro mods profile. Yes, I do have a profile for just pro mods. So some of you talking about that yesterday, some of you only have like two profiles. Ah, how do you survive with just two profiles? I need like 85, 90 profiles <laughs> at least. <laughs> I can't remember the last time I had or any time just having two profiles. You need one for online and you need one for the base game and the DLCs. And you need one for pro mods, and you need one for each of my map combos, and you need e one for each of the standalone maps out there, and a few extras just in case anything happens. <laughs> uh, Pakir, no, I haven't tried VR. I want to try VR. I can't afford VR. I wish I could afford VR. Um, maybe one day. When... Um, PewDiePie decides to do a video together with me and give away like 10% of all his subscribers. What the? F Did I hit? Fuck. Moving on, anyway. There you have it, that's today's crash. Now that we have done that, uh, we can continue doing the rest of this live stream without any more crashes. Yeah, Nordic taxes and uh, Nordic prices of things. It's an expensive country to live in, or the Norwegian 
Danish, Swedish, Scandinavian countries. Pretty expensive countries to live in. Yeah, I know I should have gone slower through the gate, but I actually thought I could make it. Evidently I couldn't. <laughs> oh! That's right! I'm not supposed to curse. Um, Pandas Ma, I'm sorry. I won't do it again. Call me. Ah, <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. I'm gonna try not to swear anymore today. You don't know where to go, Quentin. Uh, go to somewhere you haven't been before. Yeah, Singapore is very expensive as well. Um, hopefully they get paid better than we do. They're gonna rebuild Christian Sand? Oh, I look forward to that. I wish they could build it like Christian Sand looked in the 70s and 80s when I grew up there. I hope you're able to enjoy this in 2K, by the way. Um, 2K was a... It worked last time, so hopefully it works today as well. And that is... Uh, the new standard until I get a new monitor. And by then it's gonna be 4K instead. I can make a map mod. Uh, no. <laughs> no, Thanos. No one wants me to make a map mod. Trust me. Uh, there is a couple of very interesting map mods coming out. Ma map or Magreb map is one of them. Uh, the Red Sea is another one. The first release is coming relatively soon. Uh, and the first release isn't going to be big, but it's going to be beautiful. Uh, I'm Norwegian or Swedish. Uh, I'm Norwegian and Swedish. I grew up in Norway. Moved to Sweden when I was 18 and spent most of my time thereafter here in Stockholm. Um, with the exception of a couple of years I spent in Denmark. So I'm, I'm literally a Scandinavian. Seriously, am I... S I need to wake up. I thought I was awake. Uh, updated map mods work with the Genoa event. As I said earlier, I do not recommend that you use uh, or try to do the Genoa events using any of my map combos. The reason for that is simply that many of the pickup places for deliveries to, uh, to the bridge won't work. Uh, the only reason you can deliver to Genoa uh, on pro mods is because of the uh, add-on for pro mods otherwise you wouldn't even be able to deliver yeah someone should definitely give me <laughs> some coffee uh, i'm gonna marry again just so that someone can bring me coffee Uh, yes, Tashinga, the Red Sea is for Egypt. Uh, for starters, at least. Uh, 
yes, 138, uh, they are talking about it. Talked about 137 for a long time as well before it actually materialized. Um, so, um, even though they're talking about it now, I do not expect us to see anything until after the summer. Are we there yet? That was quick. There we go. First delivery. How easy was that just to crash us, of course. I don't know if you've seen this intro, so I'm going to let it do its thing. Um, they haven't made any progress since yesterday. It looked exactly the same yesterday when I was here. Oh, well. So there's that. Now let's take a look at how the bridge looks. Um, There it is. That's the actual progress in game. Hopefully one day they will add live updates of things like this so that we could see them actually work on the bridge. That would be cool. Uh, so that we can come back after say a week and it will be looking more complete than it does today. Here's the other delivery point, by the way, over here. Uh, which is very strange, because the bridge is over there. So why are we delivering here? I do not know these things. Yeah, Alex, I know. Uh, Warren made them, I think. Uh, he has kept me updated on, on GPS voice mods. From Marmospa in Parma. Uh, why not? Let's take a look. In Parma you say... Where is Parma? Uh, now I'm blind too. There it is. Uh, so I guess that's um, Marmo Spa. Is that... Or is that... Is that Spinelli? No, it's not. But, oh, there! There it is, of course, through the tunnel. Uh, yeah, let's let's do that. Why not? Let's see if we can find something there. Oops. There it is. I'm the fastest hauler in the world. Please, please, please have something for the bridge. It doesn't have anything for the bridge. Are we gonna do that anyway? <laughs> what do you say? Are we gonna do this anyway or are we gonna to try to find something for the um, Genoa Bridge? Um, let's come back to this one later. Maybe there's something here later. Oh! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Bad habits. Maybe now. Look at that. <laughs> it's not the cargo market, stupid. It's the external contracts. There we go. Plenty of holes. At least two, three even. And since we're here, of course, we... No, we can't do that. Um, we're going to do this one. <laughs> 
<laughs> uh, let's see. There it is. This truck is uh, Ralph's uh, Iveco. It's a free mod and you find it on the SCS forum. Again. There is paid add-ons for it as well, but you don't need that to configure it the way I've done. Except for the engine, perhaps. <laughs> ah, let's see if I can do this then, despite being tired apparently. I don't feel tired, I don't know what's going wrong with me today. It looks like an American quarry, probably because the American copied the Italian quarries when they built theirs. <laughs> Damn, this truck sounds good in the tunnel. This tunnel is absolutely impossible in multiplayer. Uh, which 143 uh, Thanos? There are several, and I think that one of them has been updated for 137. One of the free ones. Uh, Billy Joe, this is the Iveco truck by Ralph84. Uh, you'll find it on the SCS forum. It's a free mod. Uh, well worth it, I gotta say. Brilliant mod. Uh, yes, Pritz, I'm playing this with Pro Mods and the uh, Operation Genoa add on for, for Pro Mods. Oops, thank you. I have an old truck, my brakes are bad. Uh, no, Scandinavia mod will not work. And the reason it won't work is because you'll have crashes in Denmark if you add it. So it will load, but you will have crashes. I'm not really sure where Perid and Bengan are. They should have been there, at least one of them. But uh, maybe they grew tired of me. I don't know. Uh, the Mars mod I used on my Southern Region live stream. Did I really use a Mars? Wasn't that a cell? Uh, the GPS on the screen there. Well, it's part of uh, Ralph's mod. So I just selected the GPS. If it was a Zill, it was the 130. 
uh, or 131 or 133 or the 157 and you'll find all four of them or actually two mods uh, because there's one that includes both 130, 131 and 133 uh, on the Truxim.club forum, the Russian forum. Uh, the only news so far about Bengian's map uh, backgrounds is that they have been updated to version 1.4. Uh, no major changes and expect um, expect uh, Middle East to be located in the middle of the ocean for some time. Um, it's going to take a while before everything settles. Maybe when Iberia comes out, maybe that will change things. Uh, I hope that will change things. Uh, but for now, there's nothing we can do really because Bengian uses the parameters by SCS and uh, Promods decided to um, second guess SCS and use their own parameters. So, um, yeah, who are you gonna trust? SCS parameters or Promods? Uh, my FOV is set to 55 degrees, uh, it is pretty narrow, but, and I might think myself it's too narrow, but uh, I've been, you've been forcing me to do this, <laughs> and I'm getting used to it now, but it's taking time. Uh, yeah, Promos did it for a reason. Uh, they did. And they explained the reason. Um, whether you buy the reason or not, it's entirely up to you. But let's just say that Iberia will be a key um, part of the puzzle. Because if you look closely, you'll see that Promod Spain is also not uh, located exactly where it should be located. So um, if Promod has to do something about that, and if SCS decides to um, do makeovers in the UK, that could change things. <laughs> Bengan isn't there so you can use normal valve. You think this is too close? Uh, don't tell him I did this. <laughs> I prefer 60. Uh, then I can see all of the instrument panels, and I can see the GPS, and I can see the mirrors, and of course I can see beloved Ducky. Hi, Ducky! Whoa! Oops. Sixty-five is the best. Well, I don't want to see too much of the interior. Um, But I do wish I could see my own arms on the steering wheel in front of me. Uh, Truckers MP for 137, it will be released uh, before the 9th of August. Um, that's all I know, and that's all I care about. <laughs> Why the 9th of August? Because we're having a convoy on the 9th of August. So not only do I hope that uh, it will be updated for 137 by then, 
it has to be updated for pro mods to 46 as well. Uh, there's a link to my video on the convoy that we're doing in the video description. So if you haven't signed up for the convoy yet, it's time to do that. By the way, we already have the required 100 people attending. Uh, we reached that goal on Saturday and immediately requested the server. Uh, unfortunately, we haven't gotten any confirmation yet on the server. Uh, but I doubt that is going to be a problem. Seriously? I'm not here? You don't see me? Idiots. But of course I want more than the... I think it's 120 people that are signed up for the convoy now. And I want 200! Please! <laughs> uh, so, um, sign up for the convoy. And I know it's two months until we are doing the convoy, but it's better to sign up now than to, to wait. There's nothing to wait for. Yeah, pro mods as always will require a update for 138. Um, that's how it always is. Uh, the version that they release is only going to work on one specific version of the game. My PC configuration, PK, uh, you'll find all the information, including pictures, on my Discord server. There's a link to my Discord server in the uh, video description. I have a channel there dedicated to my setup, uh, including my other two PCs and all the monitors and webcams, everything. Microphone, you name it, all of it. This was way easier than I thought it would be. And you've already seen this, so we're gonna skip that. And there we go. That was much, much faster than I thought it would be. That's two holes in 30 minutes. <laughs> Uh, any suggestions on where we should go next? Um, we could do Parma and Spinelli and do this road, of course. Uh, but I would prefer going down over to this side. Maybe Nis. I, th I said we do Nis because I've done four now for the East Depot and only one for the West Depot. So I'm going to do a couple of uh, holes for Siberia. <laughs> no. <laughs> My headphones are uh, some crappy. They're called Piranha. They cost absolutely nothing like, well, relatively. They cost like 30 euros. They're absolutely horrible. I do not recommend them. I bought them on GameStop. Do not buy Piranha on GameStop. I'm looking for new ones. Uh, Nis, he says. Nis. We're going to do Nis next. Um, let's see. Let's drop it down here. That'll do. And let's see if we can find something to haul out of here. Uh, like uh, none of those. Uh, not that. Uh, not that. None of those. None of those. 
Uh oh. What is this? Come on. Give me a halt to Genoa. No. Nothing. How about now? Seriously? How is that even possible? Huh. I do know that you can take cargoes to Genoa from this. I've done that previously. Um, although it doesn't look like that on the map. I have done it. Uh, it's just that we cancelled uh, before I got to Genoa. Uh, Steven, no, that's not true. As I said, I found one here in Nice, uh, but uh, we're gonna have to change to somewhere else and that would be Turin or Milan. Milan is probably gonna be to the east side, so I think we're gonna have to do Turin again. Uh, just because I want to equal it out. Ah, oh, that's... That's right, it's spelled Torino, probably. Yeah. Yeah, could be that, of course. Um, using pro mods isn't really a good idea and it's a horrible idea using one of my map combos for this uh, let's see external contracts in Turin and there we have one uh, do we have anything more exciting than that no doesn't look like it Nah. Let's do that. Oh, I do want to drive this Tesla Cybertruck. I'm actually a fan, so shoot me. I'm not a fan of the uh, Tesla truck in-game. That's a horrible truck. But the IRL truck, very cool. I wish I could afford buying both the Tesla trucks, by the way. Yeah, there was a mod for the Cybertruck. Absolutely horrible. I guess I have to take care of uh, things like that. Uh, blocked. And there we go. Bye bye. Sorry about that. I have to do everything myself today. <laughs> If you had to remove southern region for the combo to work, Alex, you did something wrong. Post your game.log on my Discord server in the support channel and we'll help you figure it out. Uh, why buy a Tesla truck? Be 
because it looks badass and it's fast. Have you seen the thing accelerate? It's absolutely bonkers. And besides trucks these days, they don't sound that much. I mean, it, open pipes, you don't really find any of those in the streets anymore. They're fewer and fewer, unfortunately. Yeah, I might have to uh, fire Bengen and Parrot and Extremer, my uh, three moderators. None of them here today. I sense that some of you aren't big fans of the Tesla truck. <laughs> Why am I not surprised? <laughs> you know me, Thailand, I love my old trucks as well. But, I mean, embrace the future. We're gonna be part of it, whether we like it or not. I'm not a big fan of automatics either. I'm gonna avoid them as long as I can. At the same time, it's getting even here in Sweden more and more difficult finding cars that aren't automatic. Hi, Carlos! <laughs> the Tesla Roadster might be a little bit faster. I think the Tesla truck does 0 to 100. Um, and I'm talking about the tractor truck, not the pickup. Um, does not 60 in like 5.2 seconds. Whereas the uh, Roadster does it in 2.5. Which is bonkers fast for a truck anyway. Uh, yeah, try to drive the 2,000 horsepower Scania on the roads. I'm not sure the police is going to be a big fan of that. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm with you, Thailand. My car is uh, a diesel. And um, my next car is going to be a gas, gasoline. Uh, car as well, but uh, it's just a matter of time before it's way more economic for me to uh, to get myself an electric car instead. And I just know that that is going to be a Tesla. I don't like any of the other electric cars out there. <laughs> you have an A350 uh, Thanos? That's a Badass uh, daily driver. <laughs> LPG? I don't know what that is. Is that a sports car? Probably not. There we go, I didn't crash this time. <laughs> oh, LPG is some kind of stupid fuel thing. <laughs> it's a fuel, okay. Um, hmm. Well, I like SBF, sailboat fuel. Liquefied petroleum gas. There you go. I'm never gonna buy myself one of those, if there are any cars that runs on LPG. 
I can't even name one. Well, <laughs> the fossil fuel industry can fight all they want. They are still going to lose. It's like when we went from using horses to cars. Uh, they tried to fight back. They couldn't win. And the petrol industry isn't going to win this one. It's just how it is. English Bob, welcome. Well, 50 cents a liter is fine. Depends on uh, how much it uses per per kilometer. I mean, 50 50 euro cent sounds cheap, but if it uses like five per per 10 kilometers, you're gonna lose a lot of money. Maybe LPG is something bigger in the rest of Europe than it is here in Sweden because I don't see many places you can fuel anything with gas. We have like three, four places here in Stockholm perhaps. Well, it's no wonder that the petrol industry won the last time. I mean, the, the batteries of the time, they get you couldn't go very far with those batteries. Uh, yeah, they're slowly opening up here in Sweden as well, but very slowly. And um, no other countries in Europe want to know want Swedes to come visit them this year. So we're basically stuck here in Sweden. I saw. Uh, was it Croatia? They opened up for like 14, 15, 16 other European countries. Sweden wasn't one of them. <laughs> so we can't go anywhere this summer. Thailand, you should probably buy one of those Nissan cars, electric Nissan cars, because they do have sound. I'm pretty sure you can um, do something with that. You're driving a Kenworth truck, uh, Imtiaz? Awesome. It's coming back to me, Olaf. I'm gonna say you're driving a Volvo. A Ford Focus. <laughs> uh, Eggman, uh, yes and no. Uh, many are opening their borders. Uh, Norway isn't, yeah, Norway isn't part of EU either, uh, but it's part of Schengen. And I don't think Sweden is going to open their borders. And for us especially, um, we're not allowed in many of those other countries in the EU. Oh, why didn't you buy the Sandero? It's epic, Olaf. Thank you, sir. Thailand, do not buy a Prius, please. That's like the only electric car out there I wouldn't ever buy or hybrid I would never buy. I hate the Prius. Seriously. I'm betting that's why you're buying it too, because you know that everyone hates it, and I bet you hate it too. 
<laughs> yeah, I know you said Logan, uh, Olaf. It's just that uh, Top Gear, they just hate the Sendero. Uh, hi, everyone. This is the Iveco truck by uh, Ralph84. I should have put up a link to it in the video description. I thought everyone knew that truck by now. Evidently not. But you'll find it on the SCS forum. It's an absolutely epic truck. And it's free as well. Hi, right, Exila. Well, it shouldn't be a surprise. I've tested like four or five different Chinese trucks in game, and they're all horrible. Uh, I'm not talking about the truck itself. I'm sure the truck itself is fine. It's just. It doesn't sound good. The interior is absolutely awful. Uh, so, yeah, maybe one day I will drive a uh, Chinese truck in game, but um, I'm waiting for something to pop up that is actually good. Uh, we need to find some new place to haul. I'm just going to check, see if. Yeah, two fours. So West Depot. I need to do more of West Depot. Um, let's assume we could Milan, perhaps. Perhaps we could find something up here in Milan that allows us to go to to the west side of Genoa. Um, let's see. Go to. Milan. Oops. Let's see what I have. <laughs> hmm. Doesn't look good. There. Yeah. Cement, of course, they need cement. And that is to east, but never mind because we won't find anything to west here. I'm going to take that. Thank you, Axilla. I'm glad you like it. It's sort of an experiment using uh, 2K on the stream. I'm glad you appreciate it. Hi, Andre, and welcome. So if you're enjoying the stream, guys, don't forget to... Uh, like and subscribe and sign up for our convoy in August. There's a link to that and all the information about the convoy in the video description. I don't speak Russian. Um, but welcome. And Russell from New York City is here. Hi, Russell. How are you doing? Uh, unfortunately, I don't have a link uh, to the Iveco in the video description, Alex. As I said earlier, I l honestly thought that everyone knew this truck by now. But you'll find it on the SCS forum. Uh, it's made by Ralph84. Uh, 
Who said write in Russian only, please? <laughs> yeah, that's not gonna happen. <laughs> oh, yeah, pretty strange questions they are released, or he's been to my live streams before. I do tend to um, do live streams on things that hasn't been released, but this is ProMods 246. It has been released, and I'm playing it on 137, which has been released as well. And I'm using the uh, Operations Genoa mod, which has been released. Uh, I am fully aware of the three different Romanian maps that are out there. Uh, I've done two of them. And I was kind of hoping I was going to be able to do all three of them. Uh, but, as you said, maybe in the future. <laughs> well, if... <laughs> if someone want to make a Wombatia standalone map, I'm totally gonna do a live stream on it. And I have some suggestions for different names for it as well, for the cities. Thanos, is your father Elon Musk? If he is, feel free to change your username too. OD4HQT62K. Otherwise, no. Uh, I didn't try beta 2, I did try beta 1, Olaf. And it almost works with Rowex and Pro Mods. And. No, actually, I didn't test it with Pro Mods. But I did test it with Rowex. Uh, prior to the release of ProMods 246. Uh, the Iberia DLC uh, before the end of this year and probably in uh, November, December. Don't hold your breath. Speaking of uh, Romania, I'm waiting for Transfer Garrison to come back. Uh, yes, there is a link in the SCS forum, Fabio, to the truck. I don't have it on me, unfortunately. But I'll consider this a lesson. I'll never, ever, ever take for granted that everyone knows this truck next time. So I'll make sure I have a link to this truck next time I do a video on it. Uh, yeah, I know Olaf. Uh, to, to the top, or the link does half of the transfer garrison, but there's also a new... I think it's a 1 to 1, could be 1 to 3 scale version of Transfer Garrison coming out as well. And that's the one I'm waiting for. Yes, this is Ralph's Iveco Turbo Star. So, uh, if you're on the... Um, SES Forum, it's the uh, Iveco by Ralph84. I know, Olaf, it was in version beta, beta 1 as well, and I've dr driven it already. <laughs> but you can't combine it with Rowex, unfortunately. Oh, seriously? Thank you. That's very strange.
uh, and I'm not gonna trade Rowex and Project uh, Turkey for uh, row build, to be honest. <laughs> Thailand, you're gonna be very, very busy this summer, apparently. <laughs> Lots of people don't know this truck, unfortunately. So the reason you don't know this truck is because you're not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, because I've done three videos using this truck, and I've always had a link to it. And so this time I decided to not have the link, and... That was a bad decision. Um, speaking of 138, I'm really looking forward to the new special transport trailers. I really liked the one on the um, they had on the um, the image they posted. Yes, I do have a Logitech G25, so it's an old steering wheel, but um, I happen to like it, and it's it's pretty good for uh, for trucking. It's absolutely rubbish for racing, but for trucking, I find it to be very good. But I wouldn't recommend you buy a G25. Buy a G27 instead. And the reason for that is because you have more buttons on the G27 than you do on the G25. But the reason you want one of those is of course because of the shifter. And the extra buttons you have on the shifter of the G25 and G27. You're a trucker, Thailand? I honestly didn't know that. Or I have a horrible memory. I thought I was gonna be able to do like, maybe three of these halls tonight. This is the fourth. <laughs> I might be able to complete all of them tonight with a little bit of luck. There is... Whoa. Um, thank you, World History. Someone did that before we started, even. Uh, someone was disappointed at me even before we started. It's almost a new world record. Oh. Right. Seriously hot here in Sweden tonight. It's gotta be like 40 degrees or something.
And for this live stream, like every other live stream I've ever done, I turn off my AC because it sounds... Well, you would definitely hear it if I had it on, so... I have no AC, I have no cooling at all here. It's It gets hot. <laughs> <laughs> that usually happens world history if, if you mention the thumb down I'm doomed to get another one and now I'm gonna get another one just because I said that <laughs> I also have to wear clothes panda I can't be here butt naked <laughs> Uh, you want to know how to install a row build 2.0? Uh, it's an add-on map. Uh, you can't use it on my map combos, but if you have another profile, just just add it to that profile. I don't have pants, but I do have to have, wear a t-shirt. <laughs> uh, light and sound Philip unboxing tutorials und mehr. Uh, whoa! Shit! Oh, God damn it. Uh, don't swear, don't swear. Um, that's totally your fault, light and sound. I was so excited by your long, very, very, very long names. So this is entirely on you. Oh. <laughs> I didn't swear, did I? <laughs> I didn't go fast around that corner now that I, than I did any of the other times. I guess the physics are working. I don't think shit counts as swearing, to be honest. Well, it's damaged cement. It's fine. It's just cement. No, it doesn't count, Panda. <laughs> no, Ducky is just fine. He has heard much, much worse. <laughs> He's used to this. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> gravity weakened. That's it. <laughs> gravity is currently broken. <laughs> oh. really uh, comment on that if uh, <laughs> well I, I can but I I, I, I can't <laughs> okay so I'm not allowed to say shit but I can say poop so I'm gonna try to say poop next time <laughs> Look, it's only cement behind me. I can't possibly have damaged the cement. <laughs> oh. 
Oh, that's right. Light and sound. You had a question. I totally forgot. Uh, it's the Iveco truck by Ralph84, and you'll find it on the SCS forum. It's a free mod, great mod, highly recommended. He also have a couple of paid add-ons for it, but the way I'm using the truck now, like just a standard 4x2, uh, you don't need to buy the uh, any of the add-ons. Uh, but if you want the 190-38 special that only came out in 84, was it? Uh, you need to to buy one of his add-on packs. Uh, but this version that I'm using right now, it's for free. Well, I'm a pastafarian, so I'm gonna say um, holy meatball god. Uh, news about Mario map? Yeah, it's totally dead. No one likes it. It's absolutely awful. It has bugs and um, it will give you COVID-19. And that's the news of Mario map. Next question, please. <laughs> Oh, why didn't I think of that? Of course, I should have had a Bob the Builder skin for my truck. Hi, Intern. Love back from Sweden. Hope you're safe. I saw that India has a lot of COVID-19 cases now, unfortunately. Um, I'm gonna say it's a true story even, uh, Olaf. <laughs> uh, yes, another s true story about Mario Map. It's probably gonna give you herpes. So, um, if you have herpes, it's probably because you downloaded Mario Map. I'm, I'm, I totally feel you, Thanos. Uh, lost. I mean, since 2016, things have been pretty crazy around the world, and it's getting worse and worse. And I could still stand the news up until about two weeks ago, and now I completely stopped watching. I don't want to know anymore. I don't want to see any of it. Hopefully, things will be much better next year. Ah, there we go. <laughs> also, you will go to the toilet forever. Um, well, we've seen this a couple of times. So there's the next one. And yes, of course, it was excellent. <laughs> it wasn't, but uh, thanks anyway. Game. So, 5 to 2. We need to do more West Depot. Uh, I wish it was a bridge around Florence instead, because that would have given us, given us a lot more options than this does. I'm going to try Nice again. I'm pretty sure I'm going to find something there. this time. External contracts from Niz and
I can't remember who said it. I hate to admit it, but whoever said you can't find anything here in Nice, it has to be from companies in Italy. You're probably right then. I was pretty sure I could find something here, but... Nothing. Absolutely nothing. Oh well. Uh, yes, there is a way to do this with ProMods, because that is what I'm doing. I'm using ProMods for this. So there is an add-on for ProMods. Yes, <laughs> we talked about that yesterday, Panda. <laughs> um, so there is a mod called Operation Genoa. Uh, you just add it above all your other, other map mods and you're fine. Uh, I'm only using ProMods on this map combo. This isn't a map combo, it's just pro mods. And then I've added the Operation Genoa mod on top of that. You don't want to use a map combo for this uh, because you will have problems with um, well, maybe not that many of them if you only can take things from Italy down to Genoa. Uh, but uh, in general the um, external contracts doesn't work well with add-on maps at all. We need to do Parma. We haven't been to Parma yet. Let's see. Let's put her down over here. Somewhere. This is probably going to put us at uh, 6 to 2 for the east side, but... <coughs> Let's see... Oh, look at that! Ha! Huh. <laughs> Actually, <laughs> that one works! I'm gonna totally do that one. Uh, pro mods will, as it always does when Iberia comes out. Uh, the version of pro mods we have then is probably going to be 2.50. And yes, 2.50, let's assume we have 2.50 then. Uh, there will probably be a 2.51 which will completely override Iberia, just like we had with um, the Road to the Black Sea DLC. And then there will be a 2.5.2 or something. That's... Gee. There's something horribly wrong with the traffic today. Um, after a very long time there will be a version that actually works with Iberia. Uh, Thanos, I think he was way younger than then, that when he did uh, Barcelona. I think it was like 14 years old when he did it. Uh, of course, that's a couple of years ago now, so he's probably 16 now. Uh, yes, very young guy, very talented. And apparently had a bonkers PC because uh, even with a 1080 Ti you struggled when driving through um, Barcelona. I don't struggle with a 2080 Ti, but um, Those weren't available when he, he created uh, Barcelona. So he probably had two 1080 Ti's in SLI configuration. <laughs> Thanos! <laughs> I do hope you're joking, the Titan you, I wouldn't game on a Titan if you threw it at me. I would go back to my 1060 instead. <laughs> I do hear you, Olaf. Uh, why would I want a contract in this? I'm trying to find something to the bridge. 
Hi Jesse, yeah, it's been a long time. How are you doing? And Philip, welcome to you as well. And cheers. Oops. Uh, yeah, oh, the pickup point is like 133 kilometers away. And Perry is here. Finally, one of my moderators are here. I had to work my uh, butt off, Perry. Now, SLIs do not make full use of their potential. I'm gonna say it adds perhaps 30, 40, maybe 50%, but it's not like it's gonna be twice as fast. <laughs> this, <laughs> this is water, always is. I do not drink alcohol. So we had a spammer in here. Parried, I had to ban him and I had to cry a little because it was really hard doing that and drive at the same time the next haul is gonna be by daylight by the way we're not gonna do any more of these in the dark yeah I don't think anyone uses SLI anymore for gaming it's basically miners who use SLIs. Yeah, Uff is right. What I could have done was to go there first and then select the contract. But I didn't do that. So I can press 0 and fly around as much as I want, but I can't press F9 to teleport. Why is your ETS still on 133, Jesse? We've already talked about this today. Embrace the future. We're on 137, Jesse. Seriously. <laughs> I haven't seen Into the Night on Netflix. Is it any good? I'm not sure it's going to be soon. If, uh, I would be very surprised if we see 138 until... Well, maybe August, probably September. Well, Thanos, do you like this sound then? Use modded trucks or at least modded engine sounds. It's too much work updating all the maps. You're missing out, dude. You're missing out, Jesse. I mean, we have all of Russia now, all of it, including Siberia. We have um, uh, all of Africa has been mapped for 137. Don't tell him anything. Um, we have, uh, yeah, you can haul in all of Australia. You have the night shift, James. Well, good luck to you, sir. And thank you for being here. And you're missing out on the convoy, Jesse. You're missing out on the convoys. Uh, no, if you don't use Rowex, you can't use any of the road connections to or from Rowex. So, uh, no, that one obviously have to go. And Vombatia is in the combo as well, yeah. 
My GPU uh, intern, I have a uh, RTX 28Ti. I know it's stupid. Uh, it's not something you need to be able to play this game at at 2K at, as I'm currently doing. But, um, yeah, that's what I have. Uh, the Siberia map uh, 1.0 is only compatible with 135, I think. So we still have to wait for 2.0, which is an add-on map. No, 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 Vombatia is a country. on the Northern Hemisphere. <laughs> Thanos, I hope you buy a Titan for 10,000 pounds. I promise you'll be so disappointed if you do. Samuel, welcome. Hi, Kirk. Uh, I can't tell you exactly where Vombatia is uh, located. It's classified. Hola, Samuel. Como esta? So you don't have anything that goes into Russia, Carlos? Uh, no, the there are actually, I think it's four Polish cities that had to be removed. Um, there's some interesting things going on there that just crashes the game, similar to the problems we had with um, uh, Lublin. Uh, which we don't have anymore, by the way, so you're free to haul literally everywhere in Lublin now, finally. Kalia! Hi! Kalia, I love you, and you know why, and I'm just dying to do a ATS video uh, live stream soon, I hope, uh, to show everyone why I love you, or why I love you more than I used to love you, if that's possible, to love you more than I did already. Anyway, uh, I'm gonna do a ATS live stream this weekend, uh, just have to do it because I have an awesome truck I want to show you and that's all I'm gonna say about it you'll um, you'll see it during the live stream yeah southern region is a fantastic map the uh oh that's crazy Yes, Perid, she did. And I don't think you saw all of it. Uh, but yeah, she did. <laughs> I'll shave my beard off when we're out of this COVID-19 situation. Until then, I'm keeping the beard. Actually, that's not entirely true. I'll shave the beard off when I have to go back to work. I've been working from home for like three months now. And I'm probably going to continue working from home for another two or three months. I work for a um, f 
financial company here in Stockholm. Uh, but I work in IT, so I don't know, know anything about money. <laughs> oh, thank you, intern. Um, thank you. <laughs> I do appreciate you don't say that I look old in my beard because that's what my kids are telling me. Dad, you look so old. You used to look so young and handsome before you got that beard and now you look just old. Or something like that. By the way, and this is true, Vombatia do have a coat of arms. That is true, and you're gonna see that um, in a few weeks. I'm gonna show it to you. So, just for Kalia, and not that I care, but for Perid too. Let's. Uh, this is where we are. So I'm only using pro mods on this profile, and of course, since I'm using pro mods, the Operation Genoa add-on for pro mods. Uh, so we're going to the west side of the bridge now. Yeah, back to Genoa, of course. That is um, that is what's going to happen for the next uh, 90 minutes or so. Uh, doing Operation Genoa halls. You have to do six to the east side and six to the west side of the bridge. And uh, then apparently you get a very nice skin by SCS. And I promise the next haul we're going to do in daylight. Actually, I think it can change the um, time to day, even if we're doing a... Um, uh, let's see if that works. Yeah, it works. Yeah, I'm going to know these roads inside out when we're done with this. They always give us something, Thanos, for these events. So, but someone said earlier it was a skin we 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 get for this one. Italy DLC is still very, very, very beautiful. Is it above the builder skin? Uh, Olaf, 
you'll be the first to know. <laughs> You've already seen one of them. Um, and you'll know which one the second one is tomorrow. And then I'll post another video on Saturday and one on Sunday. Uh, no, I won't post them, but you'll know which one it is. <laughs> uh, because you'll have access to them earlier, of course. It's a Pikachu skin. <laughs> Pikachu. Uh, let's just say a couple of them are actually the reason it's gonna take me a little longer than usual to uh, to do the the four videos I'm working on right now is that it's four map mods I haven't hauled on before three of them uh, at least are maps I haven't hauled on before so um, it's taking a little longer because I, I have to haul around a lot on them to get to know them first So, but one of the videos is almost completed and that will be available for you tomorrow. That doesn't mean you're gonna like all of them. Ferret, have you been able to skin the Zil 130? Uh, because neither Alex or myself has been able to skin it. <laughs> uh, Carlos, we're talking about uh, standalone maps. Uh, as I said, when I started this stream, uh, I'll be live streaming. Well, I'm doing it right now and I'm gonna do it tomorrow and I'm gonna do it on Saturday and I'm gonna do streaming on Sunday as well and then I'm gonna go on vacation for two weeks uh, but I'm not gonna leave you without any videos of course so uh, I'm preparing videos for the vacation uh, map reviews of some map mods I haven't hauled on before Oh, a sticker. Why, Perry? Have you any idea why it's so darn difficult to uh, to skin the well, almost all Russian trucks, the sill especially? Uh, I wish I could skin it. I really want to skin it, and it's absolutely impossible. That's badass, Barry. You made your own shifter. I uh, mean, neither, Barry, but Alex is, and he really struggled with it, tried to figure it out, and he couldn't, and I tried as well. Uh, couldn't figure it out, and I have never seen any skins for the Zill 130. Uh, Kexinger, yes, there is the. There are actually two Vietnam maps. There is the free Vietnam map on the one to six scale, and there is a one to three scale paid map, which is a map I actually recommend. Uh, it's more or less just one road, yes, uh, for now, but it is also only uh, two thousand kilometers on the one to three scale. So even though it is huge, it doesn't cover that much of uh, Vietnam yet. Perhaps expect a map of more of a, a network of roads in the future, but for now there's only more or less one road, yes. I'm sure I could learn a thing or two from all of you, Thanos. Not only Barry, but I wish I had some of the skills he has on the uh, on making hardware. Uh, yes, Kexinger, very interesting. Unfortunately, the 
there is a couple of issues I see with the uh, Vietnam map and, and basically with all or many Asian maps and that is the, uh, the lack of uh, prefabs and models and uh, assets. Um, even if you're using everything you can find from SES, it still isn't quite Asian. So I wish someone could create a assets and uh, prefabs models uh, mod for Asian map mods. Or maybe even the Project Japan group could uh, share what they have. Yay, Steve-O! You're getting a 2080R TI. Congrats, dude. You're gonna love it. Uh, that's right, I'm getting low on fuel, so I'm gonna have to refuel soon. It's so exciting talking to you, I forget about these things. That's why I'm crashing too. I just enjoyed talking to you. <laughs> that's the wrong type of model, Perry, and you know it. <laughs> Linus! Welcome! And MRT is there as well. Welcome, MRT. I know I'm getting low on fuel. I still have some. I have plenty for this haul. Relax. <laughs> Hi, farmer. <laughs> what do you mean it's real life model? Yeah, uh, the the kind that I can't stream probably. Oh, going in too fast. Did I miss something? Hang on. Oh, God, I'm stupid. Because I'm not going to the east side now, I'm going to the west side. Jeez. <laughs> anyway, welcome to those of you who just joined us. I figured I'm gonna do show you both sides of the bridge. Um, so that's why I'm taking this tiny little detour to show you this side of the bridge, which is not where we're gonna deliver. Uh, we're gonna do that on the other side of the bridge instead so I've yeah that's my excuse and I'm sticking with it true story blah 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 now let's um let's go to the other side <laughs> well Thomas everything can go wrong. Everything goes wrong. Um, so I'm gonna focus on two things now. Finding the west side of the bridge instead. And of course find somewhere to uh, refuel. <laughs> Thanks for your support, Kalia. <laughs> yeah, I know I'm running out of fuel. Stop nagging me about it. Yeah, if, if the bridge had been rebuilt already, we wouldn't have to go over the long way around. Oh well, not that it matters that much because I'm pretty happy with the number of hauls we've actually done today. 
anyway, so it doesn't really matter. This one is going to be a little longer. Damn, Steve, or did you buy? Did you win on the lottery? Are you getting the uh, i9 190 or whatever it's called? 10,090, whatever it's called. Because I have the uh, 9900K and the 1090 or 190, whatever it's called, is gonna be like 20% faster. 10900, thanks. That's that's it. That's the one. Well, if he only gets only gets the uh, 10700 or 10600. I don't care that much, but if he gets the 10 900, I'm gonna be very. I'm gonna envy you for that one. I won one too. Well, I wish you the best of luck, Kexiger, because there's never gonna be a Windows 11. Microsoft has said that Windows 10 is the last version we'll ever get from here on out. We're gonna get updates only. They might call it Windows 11 in the future, but it's going to be Windows 10. Oh, go back to your online classes then, Panda. <laughs> uh, they announced Windows 11 for July 2020. Uh, no. If they did, it's just going to be a rename of Windows 10. You're retired, Stevo. Good for you. I wish I could do the same and just do this all day. Well, they might be a little bit more expensive right now, but they're going to get down in prices soon. Well, it's still going to be a renamed Windows 10. Uh, you, I'm not saying it's fake news, uh, Gexinger. I'm just uh, opposing what they're saying on the news regarding Windows 11. It's not going to be a new version that I have to download. I'm going to get it automatically if it is Windows 11. They're going to call call it this year. Yeah, that's that's my impression too, Kalia. Yeah. Just it's just Windows, um, but I guess they would have to have some sort of internal naming of it. Probably gonna do what Apple did. I mean, you just have iOS, and even though it is iOS 13 these days, it's still just iOS, really. All software will run on the next Win Kexinger. It is a Microsoft project. Uh, so some things might kind of work. Can I refuel here? Or is this just a truck stop? It's just a truck stop. Okay. No refueling here. Well, when I bought my new one... Uh, 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 Steve-O, mine was five years old as well. Worked just fine, uh, thanks to the graphics card I upda upgraded to. Uh, I unfortunately used Windows 8 on a tablet I had. I hated it. Um, 
so I rarely used it. Uh, Declan, this is the uh, Ralph 84 uh, Iveco truck. Available for free on the uh, SCS forum. Mad Max! And I do know that I'm running a little bit low on fuel. Just a little bit. <laughs> well, worst one is still probably Windows Millennia. That was absolutely horrible. <laughs> Genoa. I kind of could use a gas refuel now, soon. <coughs> no, Windows Vista wasn't even close to how bad Windows Millennium was. You probably didn't even use Millennium because you were probably not even born back then. Well, you were, Olaf, but still. <laughs> Millennium was absolutely horrible. I can't remember anyone I knew who actually used it. Every second version of Windows by Microsoft is horrible, it's just how it works. My favorite animal? Are you kidding me? It's ducks, of course. <laughs> More specifically, rubber ducks. Yeah, Windows 98 second edition was great. So was XP. XP is probably the best Windows version I ever had. Uh, I stayed on XP for as long as I could. I'm just gonna have a quick look here and see where I can refuel my... Oh my... Seriously? <laughs> uh, I might do a rather long detour. Um, I think I need to do a detour. Uh, I might have to use F7 uh, Gexiger. I could switch it off as well, I guess, but let's see how well that works. How far will I get before... Um Uh, Perid, I, this is a World of Trucks event, I can't do F9. Uh, but I still have fuel, so we're good. And now it's going downhill. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna complete this hall and then I'm gonna teleport.
Oh, there we go. <laughs> okay, so I uh, guess F7 then. Um, and because this is a World of Trucks event, I can't do that either. Which is kind of problematic. And um, wow, this is stupid. This is really stupid. Uh, this is going uphill as well. So there's no point in trying to... Um... Okay. I'm just going to do a quick... Uh, it's not my fault, obviously. It's SCS fault because they don't have enough gas stations in game. Uh, so it's totally their fault. <laughs> yeah, I'll find a fuel station in Genoa, but... <laughs> I couldn't make it to Genoa. Uh, let's fix it up as well. So, I think I'm gonna refuel. I'm out of fuel, yeah, I know that. Oh, and so I lost my cargo as well. That is bad. Okay, lessons kind of learned. Wow, they didn't give me much spare fuel there. Let's see, we're in Genoa, so we do have a gas station over there. I should be able to make it one kilometer. God. Uh, bugger. I'm not allowed to swear anymore. Which I kind of wish I could do right now. Okay. Uh, I guess that's the lesson learned. How am I supposed to resume the load, the uh, trucker? Ah, uh, we don't have any ongoing halls, so I guess we're going to have to find a new one. Do we have one here in Genoa? Going to the bridge? That would be bonkers if that was possible. I don't think we have anything here. That would be way too easy. Yeah, way too easy. So, we're going to go back to... Um, Livorno, perhaps. Livorno. Haven't been to Livorno. Wrong way. Uh, it's uh, 6 to the West Depot and 6 to the East Depot, so 12 in total. But I did two earlier in like 30 minutes total. Uh, so um, it doesn't necessarily have to take that long to complete them. Uh, let's... Why does it say Genoa? Because sometimes it's stupid. There we go. Um, let's just put it down there. And 
and see what we can find in Livorno. Nothing. There we go. Yes, 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 yes. <laughs> yes, yes. Absolutely. <laughs> uh, G set time is the command, and then you just, well, set the time. Uh, no, you can't use money mods in Truckers MP, but of course you can do it offline using the money mods. Do a couple of hauls offline and then go online. But um, Truckers MP will ignore uh, whatever mods you have, except for pro mods, of course, when you fire up the game on Truckers MP. Now this is going to be fun. Uh, that's, uh, let's take a look, that's um, 34 tons. Cheers, let's do this. It's not that heavy, really. And the truck has uh, 300 horses. Let's do this ducky. Thank you. People of Italy are really nice. Thank you. I haven't tried SnowRunner yet. <laughs> You're saying that now, Carly, i get a jerry can of fuel. Uh, no, I don't. <laughs> uh, but I have faith. <laughs> Hi, Castle. Welcome. From it's Italy as well. So, we're in Livorno right now, going to Genoa, of course. I'm not going to be able to uh, start here. I think I'm stuck here, to be honest. No, maybe not. <laughs> oh, what a monster. Oh. I'm a Pastafarian, Carlio. I still have faith. <laughs> Oops. Oh, what a truck.
This truck is incredible. This wouldn't have happened with a Volvo. What is a Volvo? Never heard of it. I know Scania, I know old Ivecos and old trucks in general. Oh, and I do know a Volvo F12 and uh, yeah, that's it, I guess. Albin. <laughs> <laughs> that is what we're doing. <laughs> now you need a special permit to uh, to uh, bring a Volvo into Bombardier. Uh No, no, DAFs are completely banned, even the old ones. <laughs> Of course DAFs are allowed, as long as it's not a 105. Ah, oh. only the king is allowed to drive a LB76. Oh, from the bridge, uh, because that doesn't count. Only bringing things to the bridge counts. The 106 is much better than the 105. No, Kalia, Kalia, as I said, you need a special permit. You have one. <laughs> uh, it's um, I was actually thinking about doing a DAF today so um, but um, yeah I did one yesterday the 3600 The 107, isn't that a Peugeot? Hi, Daryl! Could that be possibly a trucker? Because the DAF 106 480 is the only truck you can drive IRL? Oh! Collier, pay attention. Daryl is from New Zealand. <laughs> hi from hi down under. <laughs> hi Jerry. We've already done five hundred thousand deliveries, Olaf. That's a lot. Benjamin, I stand completely corrected in that case. Uh, I'm totally going to do things from the bridge as well. Why haven't I done that already? Why didn't anyone say anything? And how many things could they possibly want us to drive from the bridge? Uh, 
Why would you need a EAA Polar Rebuilding Road connection, uh, Alex? If you need a road connection between Poland Rebuilding and EAA, I think there's something wrong with your uh, combo. Probably. Uh, Thanos, <laughs> who said I don't have city skylines? <laughs> I do have it. Uh, I never play it though. Um, if you're checking out my games on Steam, you won't find it there. Um, I downloaded a test version, tested it for a couple of days and decided to never ever play it again because I almost spent 48 hours over those two days playing the game. Um, it's like Civilization VI. I got that one for free from the Epic Game Store and I played it. Almost for two days uh, without doing anything else, not even sleeping. Uh, just had to get it out of my system. Uh, this is the Ralph 84 Iveco truck. You'll find it on the uh, uh, SCS forum. This one has. 300 horses that is plenty of horses for this truck and this cargo I gave up on transport fever too as well Thanos uh, I played it and I had to force myself to stop playing it um, there are quite a few games out there that I wish I could play if I had more time but um, most of my days goes too doing this and working and sleeping no Alex you you don't need a road connection between EAA which is a different continent and Poland rebuilding there is no road between the two and if if you need a road connection then there's something wrong with your setup Bar on the bottom, the mod. <laughs> I have no idea what that means, light and sound. <laughs> no, 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 no. 300 horses is plenty. We're doing 80 kilometers an hour, 81 even. I could do with way less horsepower than this. We need to find something heavier for the next hole. <laughs> I like to live dangerously, that's why I'm doing 81 instead of just 80. Oh, no, you don't do 150. Why? So let's not go down that road this time. Let's let's go in this direction. And of course, I could also use a 6x4. Okay, so now could be a good time for me to agree that a few more horses would be nice. Come on. C. 
seriously. Okay. Let's see now. Come on. There we go. That was close. <laughs> Thanks, Ducky. <laughs> Oh. Oops, messing up the gears. Yeah, I shouldn't have refueled as much as I did. I'm gonna agree it was a little bit closer than I wanted it to be. But at least I didn't have to um, correct myself. 300 horses is all you need. Oh, the navigation bar at the bottom there. Well, go on to uh, Steam, do the Steam Workshop, and search for Sissel. Uh, Sissel, S-I-S-L. Uh, this is his version of um, of the uh, interface. Yeah, we could even try to do some special transport with this truck. A Volvo wouldn't have been able to do what I just did back there. Yeah, that's the one, Jerry. You probably mean a Truckers MP uh, site gamer, because uh, World of Trucks doesn't really care what mods you're using. A Truckers MP do. Are you leaving, Quentin? Thank you for being there. Sunset in Italy. <laughs> and you're doing a great job at that, Collier. Yeah, the Saturn V had 72 kilobytes of RAM, which was a lot back then. <laughs> Uh, are you talking about this one? It's not a cam. Uh, it is a truck hat clip. There's a truck. Track hat clip. 
Uh, it's what I use to turn my head around. So I bought a uh, TrackCat Clip Plus, which includes a camera as well, uh, because it uses a special um, IR camera. So it has a special filter on it. Yeah, I'm gonna be in the dark soon. Uh, so uh, once the sun sets, um, um, or once it turns dark, I'm gonna turn night into day again. We're not low on fuel, Olaf. <laughs> Yeah, hope so, Jerry. Although I will be ending in about 40 minutes or so. Check my oil. I won't have to do that. You see, I, I'm a high roller. <laughs> This truck can't overheat. Old trucks don't break down. See ya, Jerry. I have no comments. <laughs> mm. I have no comments there, Kexinger. <laughs> ha ha! You're not gonna wait, are you? No, you're not. You moron. <laughs> Come on, this truck can't die. Old trucks do not die. I'm not gonna help him. <laughs> it's too late for burnt clutches. If I would have burned it, I would have done it back there when I almost got stuck. I don't want to destroy the barrier, so I'm not going to hit it. You have no idea how hot it is in there. It's I said it earlier, it's probably 40 degrees in the room I'm sitting in right now. Could be even more now. Thank you, gaming English man. Appreciate that, buddy. <laughs> you got a notification now, Kalia? <laughs> well, I couldn't find my own stream 
on my phone uh, before I actually started it. Uh, normally I can see that there is an upcoming one. Couldn't see that today. Getting tired, Olaf. It's just half past nine. Uh, so we have 85 kilometers to go. I think I'm gonna complete this haul before I turn night into day and do the last haul of the day. Yeah, I can normally see that too, Thanos, but I couldn't see that today. Uh, I think it was, Olaf. But um, that's in the past. Let's just forget about that. In any case, it wasn't my fault that I ran out of gas. It was uh, SCS fault. <laughs> Hands off the wheel today? No, no, no. I'll do it on the great step, but I don't think I want to do that in Italy. I could do it once we have unloaded the cargo, of course. And... Um, but that's kind of boring. <laughs> I can do that. I can blame F mod for running out of fuel. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> <laughs> you can do it at one, please do eighty. Hmm. The infrastructure up here works like the Genoa Bridge. Very much not working, very much a work in progress. I'll keep that in mind. I'm gonna blame the. <laughs> I'm gonna blame F mod next time. <laughs> because. There's probably going to be a next time. I'm so sorry, Kexiger. I do apologize for that. <laughs> Which is good, because you're overweight. <laughs> yeah, maybe if I'm sitting here every single night for a couple of weeks maybe I could lose some weight too uh, no I don't have any cab lights in this truck oh crap what is going on The AI. Just saying. <laughs> oh, 
Well, I did a video on that, uh, the gaming Englishman, on how to do that. I guess you're doing something wrong. Nah, you won't see any accidents tonight, Kexiger. I'm a professional. I never crash. Second to last. So I guess we could... We've seen that. I guess we could end by taking something out of here. Um, I've done three of six there and five of six there. Does it actually say two from? Yeah, it does. To and from. Not only to, but also from. Right. <laughs> uh, so let's see what we have here. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, let's see. Genoa. No, not that one. That was the wrong Genoa. Those are wrong. Shouldn't these also say then uh, East and uh, West? Maybe not. Yeah, 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 you said that 20 times. Thank you. Um, I guess we're going to have to do this. 44 tons. That's the heaviest one we have here. Wait, he says. Don't go over 20 tons. Uh, don't go below 20 tons. Use the marker. Well, this is the only marker I have, and that doesn't say much. We're going to do this. If that is out of here. What are you saying, Olaf? Uh, okay, I think I know what you're saying. Um, and you're probably right. Let's see. There's the pickup. There we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, and 25 seconds without touching the steering wheel. There you go. Your wish has been granted. <coughs> see what we have there we go and now something heavy which we can't find 15 tons seriously Ugh. Um, well I haven't done one of the wheel loaders uh, We haven't gone to Bologna either. Uh, but we have gone to Florence. <clears throat> so many different choices. F 
You know what? Let's just bring this up to Turin and then we can pick up something really heavy. There it is. <coughs> and let's just do this one and then we're going to pick up something really heavy so that I can show you what this truck is capable of. Oh, that's right. Uh, play God, make daylight. There we go. Oops. Through the Alps. Uh, if we're gonna do special transport, it's not up to me where we go. <laughs> you have no faith, Kalia. <laughs> Bringing an airplane out of a stall is easy peasy. Bringing a truck out of a stall is much harder. <laughs> Should I be afraid of your wife, Olaf? <laughs> I wonder where Bengyan is tonight. Why isn't Bengyan here? Is he sick? Did he die? <laughs> Horrible. No, he didn't. But I gotta say, I wonder why he's not here. You're afraid of your dinner. <laughs> why, why does your dinner scare you? Is it poisoned? <laughs> Hi, Ghost Rider. Karelia. Hmm. Karelia, is that a Russian version of Kalia? Oh, there's... <laughs> there's no dinner for you next time. Well... Can't you just watch it on your TV then, Olaf, and tell her to join you, so you can both watch? Maybe she's gonna. Maybe she's liking it. Maybe she's like it. Maybe she's like. Maybe she will like it. I can't speak tonight. Ah, oh, here we go. Uh, yeah, the stolen Afro map works on one thirty-seven. It does. Uh, but I do not use stolen maps on my combos or in my videos or anything, so um, I'm not going to use it. Oh, 
Hi William and welcome to Italy. <laughs> yeah, Afro map again. <laughs> So if I, <laughs> yeah, it's stolen. So if I find something I like on the internet and I repost it and create my own link to it, I have stolen it. <laughs> I am next gameplay. Welcome. Stolen version of Aphromac may cause HIV, so please use protection if you install Aphromap. Uh, that's a long time ago, Thanos. He died in like 2015, I think. <laughs> I totally agree, Kexinger. So uh, please give me a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. Seriously, otherwise I will have to cancel my channel or something like that. <laughs> Oh, NX gameplay! Damn it! I saw your uh, message on Facebook and. Uh, yeah, there's that, of course. Ah! That's totally NX gameplay's fault, obviously. Uh, let me get back to you tonight and next gameplay. Yeah, but that accident wasn't my fault. That was NX gameplay's fault. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> why didn't I think of that? I should have refueled. Well, so you're uh, a positive person, which is good. Uh, how about... Um, uh, I will the next gameplay. I will. I will. And I'll, I'll get my hands on it tonight. I do apologize. Uh, my memory, short-term memory, is absolutely horrible. For real. Wow, I could even start this thing in fifth gear. I don't think this is where I'm supposed to deliver. Just checking. <laughs> oh. This should have been today's... Are you sure? Thank you. This should have been today's last haul, but... Yeah, it's not. We're gonna do one more. One thing. One stupidly, horribly heavy thing, too. Before we end.
There we go. And... And let's see what we can find. <clears throat> you have a heart attack and abdominal pain. Uh, does that mean that you haven't subscribed? Um, I'm going to say you need to... Uh, oh, you forgot the notification bell button. That's why you have the abdominal pain. I'm pretty sure that's the reason. Let's see. Cargo weight... One ton is not enough. 61 tons. Um, that's the heaviest thing we have here right now. So I think we're going to go to Sagreb. How about that? <laughs> he has two hearts. <laughs> uh, this is the heaviest thing we have in here. So 61 tons, I guess, from Zagreb. Uh, yeah, I know it's heavy. You don't have to tell me. <gasps> oh, I have the 476 horsepower version. I forgot. Then it's not really going to be a challenge. We're going to do it anyway. Go to Zagreb. Let's see. Well, you can get dislikes for all kinds of reasons. Uh, is it this one? Or is it that one? There it is. <laughs> I did I didn't I didn't do it on purpose. She I honestly thought this truck had 300 horses. I didn't pick that, uh, the uh, most powerful either. Uh, anyway, it's 476 very old horses. And it sure doesn't feel like it. There we go. Let's take a look at the routes and see what we have. So, Zagreb to Ushurod. Um, hmm, hmm. Yeah, let's just do that. <laughs> 446 orders and a duck. Of course, starting in fifth gear could be a bad idea. Crawler gears, thank you. I haven't done the locomotive in a really long time. don't really like it because it has a tendency of lifting up the back of the truck in a million different places. And I'm gonna refuel uh, over here uh, because as a professional I would never forget to refuel, of course. <laughs> I 
Are you gonna complain that it's not the correct train I'm holding here, Thanos? Uh, Shrikant Kaligotla, welcome. And thank you for being here. <laughs> I'm not gonna try to wait refueling because it's and by the way it's no sport really anymore trying to wait for as long as you can because you can always get some emergency fuel. Yeah, this stream isn't gonna end at nine o'clock as I said earlier. It's gonna take a little longer than that. Why does it sound like I'm in a tunnel right here just because there's a roof above me? It's not supposed to sound like that. I wish they could do something about that. Vatican City has 68 meters of train tracks. Why did they even bother? Good evening, Fred. We're in uh, Sagreb, I think. And the friendly people of Sagreb will, of course, not let me into traffic. <laughs> I'm also in the sauna. That is, that is true. this trailer okay we're gonna try it again <laughs> I'm not gonna take out the pubs why are you not Helping me. Thank you. I mean, I'm still hitting it. That's it. I'm going this way. There we go. Sir Kels Gaming, thank you very much. That's very kind of you. <laughs> thank you for the gas money. <laughs> uh, yeah, I have traffic turned up just a little bit. Uh, to uh, three instead of the default one, so three times the regular traffic. Which is obviously the reason why I had some difficulties getting out from the gas station. Let's see if they are more helpful here. You look like a helpful Ford Focus. Thank you. Uh, how much story storage does ETS2 take without oh without mods? 
uh, five, six gigabytes or so, I think. It's not that big. This train is bigger. It does need a little bit more than NASA did back in the 60s. Yeah, I think my version of Doom is like 80 gigabytes. Ah, oh, oh, traffic. There was one game, I can't remember which one it was, like 250 gigabytes or something. Uh, it's on Steam, I can't remember what game it was. What is wrong here? Ah! Ha <laughs> ha! Ah! A bug on uh, Pro Mods! Wow! Anyway, where was I? Uh, just a simple stupid question. I'm trying to use the your Eurasia map with Promos 246 with Pawn Rebellion, but my map looks like it's not in the right spot. Uh, so I guess my question to you is, are you using the same background map as I'm using? Call of Duty takes 175 gigabytes. Wow. going in the right direction now I think I am well RB gaming uh, if it's not correctly located on the map I assume you're not talking about uh, the Middle East because um, if you have any complaints about that um, talk to someone else uh, <laughs> it's the same for all, uh, all of us regarding um, the Middle East. But if all of it is incorrectly located, I'm guessing you're not using the same background map as I'm using. Or you could, which is even worse, I'm going to go this way. Um, you have a Zoom or something installed as well. Uh... No loading the Eurasia 246 map combo should take less than one minute. Uh, if it takes longer, it's caused by additional mods. If you don't have additional mods, there's something wrong with your load order, or you have uh, the wrong version of one of the mods, something like that. In any case, post your game.log file on my Discord server and we'll help you figure it out. Yeah, so the Middle East is the Middle East, and people in Zagreb aren't very helpful. Um, now, loading times doesn't 
matter that much uh, whatever you have even if you're running a, a well if you have a HDD instead of a, if you have a mechanical hard drive instead of a SSD it could take a couple of minutes to load the game but that should be it if you do have an SSD and at least four gigabytes of ROM, it should take you less than less than a minute. Uh, Southern region is found on share mods. Uh, there shouldn't be any more problems downloading that than there are downloading anything else. Yeah, errors and warnings, uh, no one cares, it's a map combo, you always have, always will have warnings and errors in the log, as long as they don't affect gameplay, don't look at them. Ah, oh, that's okay, uh, Shrikant. That's fine. Yeah, mechanical drives are way slower. Um, when I add additional mods on my uh, Eurasia edition, using I have an M2, so it takes three minutes to load it, even with. Uh, when I'm adding additional mods, so without them I load the. Um, if I don't add anything extra, I load the thing in less than 30 seconds. Yeah, SSD is a must-have. What did Promods do here? There's a lot of strange errors there, and I'm only using Promods. Well, RB Gaming, if you're having problems uh, with the load order or with my map combos, just post your game.log on my Discord server and we'll help you figure it out. I have um, several trained monkeys there who are very capable of figuring out what's wrong with with profiles. Thanos, I do hope my... Oh, my streaming PC is better than a laptop. Oops. <laughs> and to be completely honest, I don't really use it as a streaming PC anymore. I'm not really sure what I use it for anymore. Backup. <laughs> no. Isn't 32 gigs on a Ryzen 3 kind of an overkill?
You have two of those in raids even, Kalia. I love you. I have two M2s, but I don't have them in raid. Uh, I didn't know that, Kexiger. Uh, apparently you do, so thank you for sharing that information. It's good to know that I'm saving a lot of money. Kalia is badass. That is official. Has been official for a long time. Yeah, I have uh, my windows on a M2. And uh, it loads pretty quickly. But having them in raid... Why didn't I think of that? Yeah, so uh, what you should do, RB, is load up the game, load up the probe file you have problems with. Now, if it crashes or if it's just long loading times, doesn't matter. But once it has either crashed or completely loaded the profile, shut down the game and post the game log. Um, once you restart the game, the log will be completely overwritten. So. I've seen quite a few logs where people have just started the game and then closed it and sent us the log. That doesn't help us at all. You need to load the profile you have problems with first. <laughs> they did. Thanos, honest to God, I had no I didn't know that. <laughs> Why don't I live in Italy? <laughs> Hey, Fred, that's kind of what I used to have. That's my five-year-old PC. An FX, I think it was an 8350, actually. Still sitting there next to my... Um, next to my chair. Uh, with a 1060 in it. A 6 gigabyte 1060. So it's not half bad, actually. Uh, because it also has SSDs, of course. But um, it's not that bad. For this game, all you need is a darn good uh, graphics card. <laughs> it's faster for me to reload ETS than it is to type G traffic zero. <laughs> no, it says something about how fast her PC is, Kexinger. Oh, no, 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 RB Gaming. We're not going to help you with additional mods. On the contrary, you're on your own if you add anything to the combo. Uh, so, uh, because we can't test 10,000 different additional mods to verify whether they work or not. So, that is up to you. If you post the game log and have additional mods, we're just going to tell you to remove them. I hope the 3080 is slower than my 2080. <coughs> yes, RB Gaming. Yeah, in my opinion, the only way to go right now is a GeForce. Um, especially if you want good graphics without having to use additional mods for graphics. Oh, there we go. There's the Titan again. <laughs> the only time I'm going to say that you should have a Ryzen is if the other alternative is a Titan. Yeah, 
Yeah, I have had zero regrets regarding my PC. Intel i9 9900K and RTX 2080 Ti and 32 gigabytes of ROM and M2 disks. I couldn't have done anything different. No, the map Faroe Islands is a horrible hack. It includes the entire base map as well. Uh, that's why it's so big. I have no idea what he was thinking when he created the Faroe Islands map. Um, in the current version, I'm not gonna use it ever on any map combo. I could not have an i9-9900KS because there was no 9900KS when I got mine. I think there wasn't at least. Kexiger! I'm gonna ban you if you don't apologize to Kalia, she's not old. She's a lady. Be nice. That is not okay. <laughs> Hi, Ivan. Welcome to Fight Club. <laughs> no, well, Kalia isn't older than you are. Kalia is just Kalia. She's 25 years old this year. She was 25 last year. She's going to be 25 next year. That's how it works. Maybe not 25, maybe 28. But anyway, you get the point. <laughs> well, it's Fight Club now. Kexinger turned it into Fight Club. <laughs> That's right, Thanos. But I figured if I could choose my age, I'd go for 20. Eight. I wouldn't want to be 18 again. Age is usually also something you die from, so um, I think age is a little bit more than the number. But age tends to kill people, unfortunately. Gexinger! <laughs> Final warning! <laughs> <laughs> I mean, even Bengyan is young compared to the Milky Way. Well, maybe middle-aged compared to Milky Way, but still. Anyway, <laughs> almost good move there, Kexiger, except for the for no reason thing. <laughs> this is an Iveco truck. It's not a daff. <laughs> it's, you know, Thomas, that's not bad at all. It's Fright Club. <laughs> no, we're going to, uh, where are we going? We're going to um, Ushrod 
Is that actually spelled with a double H, or is that a typo from Pro Mods? I think that's a typo. Or it's just Ush Rod. Uh, welcome, Lopez from Brazil. Uh, Hubert, we're actually working on that. Uh, we do have uh, a few now that includes Polish uh, subs. Um, and I'm working on getting Polish, um, German, English, obviously, uh, correct English, that is not the automatically created by, by uh, Google, but proper English subs, as well as French and Russian subs. And some of my, and also Portuguese in some cases. Uh, some of my videos also have Portuguese uh, subs. So we're working on that. It is a typo, yeah. It's not a typo. Crazy and Uffe, you should f fight over it. Yeah, so we are working on trying to get uh, Portuguese subs for my uh, map combos as well. Uh, the only drawback from all of this subtitling stuff is that I'm getting a lot of comments in French, German, Russian and Portuguese, which I can't answer. Uh, Olaf, you're more than welcome to do them if uh, if you think Dutch subs are required. So it's Ush Horod. Hordor. I need to learn to speak Portuguese. Yeah. Mukachevo. So it's Ush Town. Then. Well, I also need to learn to speak English first. Then I'll try to learn other languages. Uh, oh, the official language of Vombatia is actually English. Uh, we don't have a written language in Vombatia. Uh, so we lost it over time and since the introduction of internet, we forgot about our language. So we're using English these days. Well, Olaf, if you're willing to do them, uh, the, all my videos are open for for translations. So if you want to do one or you want to do all of them, I do have a channel on the Discord server for those who translate my videos. Uh, so they get both early access and a ton of work to do. <laughs> when I'm getting ready to release new videos. Thank you, Fred. That's very kind of you. Uh, my native language is uh, Norwegian, which is very similar to Swedish, uh, because I grew up in Norway. Um, so, and it's... Honest to God, it was really hard learning to speak Swedish. I, I all, have always understood Swedish. The languages are very similar. But the thing is that when the languages are so similar, it's difficult to remember if it is a Swedish or a Norwegian word. Uh, from that perspective, it's actually much, much easier learning to speak Russian because there is no doubt uh, whether a word is Norwegian or Russian. 
but since they are so similar I, it took me like 10 years before I felt that I was actually speaking Swedish properly. I, I do live in Sweden. I've lived in Stockholm for 30 years. Thank you, Paul. I'm glad I did. That's kind of the purpose of the map combos. I'm glad I'm help. I'm glad I'm at up here. I'm glad they are helping you. I can't speak properly today. <laughs> I hope it's not the heat that is uh, that it making the making it difficult for me to speak. I gotta say, hauling this train wasn't really a challenge. We have another 178 kilometers to go. And it hasn't really been a struggle. I think we see more Scania trucks than uh, Volvo trucks here in Stockholm, at least. Uh, Matt's house, thank you very much. The head tracking I'm using right now is a uh, track cat clip. But I also have a Toby. And if it hadn't been for my 85 profiles, I would have probably used my Toby instead because the downside of this one is that it well it requires juice so it has a battery and the battery life is like five maybe six hours with a little bit of luck and that's not anywhere near as much as I want uh, because I've done 16 hours of streaming and uh, yeah for that reason I really want to use the Toby instead but the problem with the Toby is that uh, you have to set it up once for each and every profile whereas this one works with just one uh, setup for all the profiles uh, so uh, yeah so, but there are pros and cons to both of them. Uh, this one is better when doing uh, road trains, for instance, where you need to keep your eyes on the mirrors and at the road in front of you at the same time. Uh, but for more normal hauling, the Tobis is uh, more than good enough. If it's hot in Sweden, Fred, yeah, it's like 40 degrees today. In the sun, that is. It's, I think it was 25 in the Celsius, in the 25 in the shadow. And in here, it's definitely 40 degrees right now. <laughs> Aha! So Scania has. 45% of the market in Sweden, that's pretty good. Much better than a Volvo then. <laughs> Keg singer! If I'm under a rooftop, yes I am. I'm indoors, in my apartment. But you see, I have an AC, and that makes a lot of noise, or relatively much noise. 
and uh, so I shut it I, I turn it off when I do my live streams and it's almost like instant regret because it goes from being a cool 20 degrees inside to being probably 30 degrees in le less than 15 minutes so um, but what do you do Hi Ivan from Spain and welcome. There are Ivecos in Sweden. Not that many, but there are. I've seen them here in Stockholm. Uh, foreign plates on most of them though. I've seen... I'm not even sure I've seen any in Sweden with Swedish plates. Boeing 777. Yeah, I wouldn't like to have that next to me. It's too loud. Vasaros na mielni. Coming up. Uh, there's going to be a new... DLC for ETS2 this year, but please don't hold your breath because it won't be out until November, December perhaps. That's a proper engine if the sound of the engine can kill you. Uh, yes, there are many different versions of the... Um, of the... Um, uh, route, route, route advisor. I seriously can't speak today. I think I might have had a stroke today or something. Vasarosnalmeni. I probably pronounced that correctly. <laughs> My tongue is in a twist. <laughs> <laughs> well, another 44 km kilometers to go, then we are done for the day. Uh, this is the final haul for the day. But I will be streaming again tomorrow, on Friday that is. And I will be streaming on Saturday and on Sunday as well. And then I'm going to take a two-week vacation. Uh, not that there's not going to be videos, there will be. Uh, but there won't be any live streams during that time. Was Arosh Numini. Ugh probably kill that name. Uh, where will I stream tomorrow? Uh, I haven't decided yet, Perid. Um, I'm gonna start looking into that after this one. Uh, I won't be doing the uh, same thing as I did today, that's for sure. So it's not gonna be pro mods tomorrow. I guess it's what I'm saying.
been to uh, Ireland much, Thanos? Uh, my truck has <clears throat> 476 horses. <laughs> uh, one would easily suggest that this one only has 300 horsepower. That is not correct. Is it 443? Not Okay, I thought it was 476. Around 450. Fine, it's Welsh then. So, but with around 450 horsepower, you haven't any problem hauling a train. Oh, slow down. I thought it was 476, and then someone says 430, I don't know. My memory isn't great. You know what? Let's do this. It has... I can't see that there. I thought I could see that there. Huh. Never mind. Now I'm really getting tired. Yeah, I could go to the truck manager, but anyway. There's a long name of Bangkok. <laughs> oh, for crying out loud, it's just a truck. My truck has 476, that's what I said. 476 horses and several newton meters of torque. And I bet you can pronounce that perfectly, Kalia. You know what? I'm gonna play Daredevil. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna refuel. Um, for the rest of this haul. That's Ukraine. Okay, let's just agree that there's some very, very long city names out there. So, there we have it. That is the end of today's live stream. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you didn't, I don't give a shit. Uh, so, anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, subscribe as well. And I'll be back tomorrow at 6 o'clock doing a... Friday haul 
on ATS. On ATS, of course. I'm gonna haul on ATS tomorrow, showing you a very, very special truck I have. A very unique truck. Uh, so, um, I don't know exactly where we're gonna haul tomorrow. Probably in uh, Mexico. But if you don't like Mexico, you should still be there for the truck. Because you're gonna like that one. Uh, there we go. That's our show. Uh, thank you so much for being here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope to see you again tomorrow. Same time. Take care. Have a great evening. Good night, everyone. Bye-bye.